Sherry, I have to say, as stunning as you look, you, you was in a mood this morning. You all right? Oh, I, I'm still in kind of a bad mood. I, because I got to tell y'all, they having too many daggone holidays off with these kids. I'm, I, you know what? And I was in such, these kids be putting you in a bad mood. My son, Jeffrey, is here today with me. He's out of school for the holidays today, and I didn't even realize it was a holiday this morning, but I got up. I'm getting up at 5 in the morning, and he's supposed to be up. And uh, I walked in, he's laying in the bed. And let me tell you what I don't like. I don't like men in my house lying up in the bed when I'm up. No, no. Not no teenager. And I said, why are you in bed? And he said, I'm up because it's Indigenous Peoples Day. And... <laughs> Well, I'm glad y'all clapping, because I said, what is that? I... <laughs> and he said, Mom, it used to be Columbus Day. And I said, OK, when... I didn't know that we changed it. I love that it's changed. I didn't know. Somebody need to do. This is great. <laughs> but y'all need to do a PSA for the parents. <laughs> you be changing all these holidays around. Just let me know, because this just happened. I asked somebody who's an administrator. I was like, when did it become Indigenous People's Day? And she said it was been a few years. So put that on the dog on Zoom when you calling me up. <laughs> talking about my son. So this boy is laying in the bed, and I said, if I got to get up and go to work, you going to get up and go to work, too. I tell you this, I am a morning person. I get up in the morning, I'm praising the Lord, I'm, in, I'm smiling. I am in such a good mood. But I, I have to tell you, I'm in a bad mood now because I, this boy was in such a, like, he, he got moody. Why I got to get up? Why I got to go to work with you? Why are you, well, you know, I, and you know, and then he gonna walk in, everything wasn't matching. You go and change your clothes. You don't get to wear two different socks. Everything on, and I'm sniffing it. Look, open up your underarms. Raise your arms. Uh -uh, go on back in there. You know, you don't get to smell like no onion and go to work with me. That's not. I said, you representing me. And in that mouth of his, John, he's talking about, well, if I got to go to work with you, then it's all about you. That's right, it's all about me. You. I tell you. Then I got to get on him. You know, late when you with your kids, you got to get on him. You, you with that tone, watch that tone. You talking about me. So then I'm, and I started off in a good mood. Now I'm in a bad mood because you didn't put me in a bad mood. So I told him, I said, and you know when the front two teeth start showing, I said, you're going to get in this car. <laughs> I'm telling you, when your mama start talking and only them two white teeth are right there, get in the car. And I say, you gonna go to work with me and you gonna ask everybody. You tell them, hi, my name is Jeffrey, and you ask them, is there something that you can do? I don't care what you do, you go to work. I told them, I don't care if you gotta find somebody, you ask the security, you go do them cameras, but you get your butt and you go to work <laughs> operating those cameras. So I got him. I think I got him behind the cameras. I think somebody then took control of him. They didn't put Jack there. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you better get and go to work. Boy, yeah, all right. Then what made me really mad, John, is when we were trying to get ready to go to work, I had people calling me talking about Jeffrey don't want to go to school. So you didn't call my friends. I got Niecy Nash calling me talking about, why are you going to send the boy to go to work with you? You know, he's off of school. Why don't you? And I said, OK, OK. See, this is one thing my parents told me. When I tell you to do something, don't be going back to nobody else <laughs> and telling them what I told you to do. You think you smart, you gonna do the go around. That, the go around, and you done went around me to try to get my friends to, to let you stay home. And I told Niecy and I told Kim Whitley and my girlfriend Tangie, I said, I, you act like you paying the bills in my house. <laughs> so now he is here with me and I understand why well, I understand my parents and I understand why my parents were, you know, I wanted to plan something nice for us to do now and put me in a bad mood. And now when his friends, the mother called and she said, uh, you know, Jeffrey, we would love for Jeffrey to come hang out and I would have let him, but now you done made me in a bad mood. You not going nowhere. You gonna go right <laughs> home with me.
So you gonna stay behind them cameras all day, Jeffrey. <laughs> Put the camera on me. Put the camera on me. I done told you the camera's always got to stay on mama. There we go. That's it. I don't know where he look. I don't know what there. Okay, stop. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Jeffrey just, Sherry, Jeffrey just wants to know how much are you gonna pay him at the end of the day? You don't get no pay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. This, well, thank you, sweetheart. I, I do love you. Mama loves you. I just want you to know that. I was in a...